Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Sam. This is Phil. What's up, guys? We are Bars and Barbells, if you guys are new here. And today we got a little Linkin Park and Jay Z collab on the agenda. We've done one Linkin Park song so far. Yep. And that was a song that we weren't as familiar with. We do know this song. And we've done one, what, Jay Z Live? We did a live Jay Z song. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that one. Yeah. Did Renegade Live with Eminem. Yes. Yeah, so this will be our second Jay-Z song on the channel as well. Oh, no, we did um, we did Renegade twice because we did the studio version yes. of Eminem. Then we did the live, the live version. And now we're doing live again from Jay-Z. Yes, so this should be cool. We're both familiar with the song, but we've never seen it live. Yeah, so that's why we're choosing to do the live version because we've never seen Linkin Park live. Mm -hmm. we've never seen them perform this song live. Yeah. And we wanted to get a little more familiar with Linkin Park as a whole. I'm yes. excited to see Chester Bennington also do a live performance. Yes. He's got such a great vocal. Mm -hmm. So I'm you know, interested to see how it translates live and in mm -hmm. person, uh, although we're not in person. <laughs> In person, Actually. in person. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but uh, yeah, we've enjoyed our journey thus far in general on the Reaction Channel. We got so much support from all you subscribers. Yes. This is your first time Thank on the channel. Guys. Welcome. Glad that you're here. Mm -hmm. We drop two videos every single day, music, sports, and comedy. So if you want to join us on this journey, we'd love to have you. Really? You can hit the subscribe button and the notification bell, and we'll see you in the next one as well. But I think we should start with this one first. Yes. Let's do it. I'm excited. Oh, well, Sam's ready, clearly. So <laughs> I guess we're all ready. Let's get it going. <laughs> Sunglasses as usual. Throwing up the rock. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We out here having a good time and all we rocking, we cussing, we spitting, we having a good time, but the reason we out here is for a cause. You know, they spending billions and billions of dollars to kill people. We can spend billions and billions of dollars to help people live. And we appreciate all y'all help. Is he talking about today? <laughs> Is this from 2023? Literally. <laughs> Applicable. I don't want to get too political. Let's play some music. I couldn't have said it better myself. Play some music, man. Beautiful. <laughs> Thank you, Philly. You far too kind. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Can we uh -huh. hear your voices? Let's go. Uh -huh. Can I get an encore? Do you want more? Cook and roll with the Brooklyn boss of a one last time. I need y'all to rock. Now, what the hell are you waiting for? After me, there's be no more. So, the one last time, Philly really makes some noise. Come on. Get Who you know, pressing and hold? Riddle me that. The rest of y'all know where I'm lyrically at. Can't none of y'all remember me back? Yeah, hand me rappers like hand G rapping his prime. I'm Young H.O. Raps, Grateful Dead Back to take over the globe to break bread I'm in blowing jets, blow books fresh Out the country but the blueberries still connect I'm on the low but the yacht got a triple deck But when you young, what the fuck you expect? Yep, yep, grand opening, grand closing God damn your man, hope crack the can open again Who you gonna find open in him with no pen, just draw inspiration Soon you gonna see you can't replace him with cheap invitations Can I get an encore? Do you want more? With the Brooklyn boss of the one last time, I need y'all to run. Look what you made me do, look what I made for you Knew it would pay my dues, how will they pay you? When you first come in the game, they try to play you Then you drop a couple of hits, look how they wave to you From Marcy to Madison Square To only thing that matters is just a matter of years, yeah The fake would have it, chase that as a pair to be at an all-time high Perfect time to say goodbye When I come back like John, wearing the 4-5 Then they ain't to play games with you, it's the aim at you Probably maim you, if I owe you, I'm blowing you to slam the reeds Cap seven, take one for your team I need you to remember one thing. one thing. I came, I saw, I conquered. Record sales, sold out concerts. So motherfucker, if you want this encore, I need you to scream until your lungs get sore. Tired of being what you want me to be. Chip, chip. Feeling so fake, just chip. under the surface. Uh -huh. I don't know what you're expecting of me. That's right. But under the pressure yes. of walking yes. in yes. your shoes. Step that I take is another mistake to you. 
little last <laughs> drop in there. Just so crazy, the breath control on Chester. Um, yeah, he's incredible. You know, he's got a great ability to go from this raspy, mm-hmm. you know, feeling that he's giving you. I got goosebumps in that because, you know, obviously we know Chester's story. And, you know, just when he's saying, like, I've become so numb, it just resonates so much when he says that, not just from the vocal performance, but obviously knowing his story mm-hmm. as well. Yeah. And I could listen to that, that chorus from him all day. It's yeah. just so good. So good. And I think that they're, like, with this being live, like, I thought both of their deliveries were so good. Like, it just sounded so crisp and clear. And I thought even Jay-Z, like the, when we did the renegade one, like I wasn't all that impressed with him live. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't think he was bad by any means, obviously like don't come for me. I know people think he's like the goat and whatever, but in that live performance, I was like, "Eh." right. But I thought he did a really good job in this. I thought he did really well. Yeah. His clarity was fantastic. And his um, delivery was great. His breath control was good as well. I really liked the additives of seeing this live performance with the hip hop influence, but also having the band and Mm -hmm. you had, uh, you know, the keys They were using the keys. Obviously Mm -hmm. I think, uh, that's Mike, uh, Shinoda. I Mm. think that's it. Right. Yeah. Um, and so he was on the keys and he had guitar players in there as well. So that was really cool. I think it adds more depth to the sound, which I like, especially in live performances. You know, I've been a hip hop head growing up, but, um, even myself admittedly, like, unless you have a really top tier artist, sometimes the live performances would fall off because it's just a person on the microphone. A lot of the time they don't have a backup band. Although I will say, Eminem, when I went to see him uh, live, he had a full band with him. He had The Roots actually playing with him. Oh, cool. That would have been cool. And uh, Nas, I've seen him before and using a full band as well. Um, And he, Nas in general, is really strong as a performer. So it really does make a difference, you know, from hip hop, from the hip hop perspective, uh, how the sound can come across. And I think they did a great job with this, you know, implementing both aspects i mean they must have rehearsed a fair amount because everything seems so crisp yeah and i mean like obviously that we already knew the song but like in general i just think the fusion of both of them together is such an amazing fit like the way that they put this oh, together yeah. like taking their two completely different styles but the way that they overlaid it and like it doesn't even it's not even very separated right i feel mm-hmm. like in a lot of collabs it's kind of like your piece yeah. and my piece and your piece this is just like meshed together so well yeah it's this great. is always like one of my favorites it's it's i think probably one one of the best if not the best crossovers mm-hmm. that's come about and i'm not even a huge jay-z fan like i i mean i i know he you know a lot of people like you said think he's the best ever or up there and top tier for me i just you know i didn't resonate too much with his voice and his delivery mm-hmm. and that's why i didn't love a lot of his stuff but um clearly you know he's has a catalog you know one of the most successful artists in history yeah. but uh, beyond that even you know when I do say that, I can't recognize the se- success that they put together in this crossover mm-hmm. performance. And that's attributed to Jay-Z's ability to appeal to so many people. And obviously Linkin Park's ability to make that creative process work. And I think, you know, even before they did this, way back when, I think it was Mike was doing um, a lot of mashups to begin with. And that's how they kind of got into this process. Oh, cool. So um, they had a lot of hip hop influence, I think, throughout. But they obviously did the crossover themselves into the rock side mm-hmm. of things yeah yeah no i really enjoyed this seeing this live and you know like you said it's it's crazy too how you can know a song like for for me the majority of my life and i've never heard them perform it live yeah and it, you know with that said i don't really feel like there was much of a drop off at all between mm-hmm. this and the studio version no me either you know it really sounded great i almost felt like i was listening to the studio version yeah yeah, it was great. So hopefully you guys enjoyed it as much yeah. as we did. Like I said, I got some goosebumps listening to Chester there. I yes. uh, brought back some memories for me of him and hopefully for you guys as well. Yeah. 2005, long time ago now, 18, 18 years ago. It's pretty crazy. Um, but uh, hopefully, like I said, you guys enjoyed it. If you did, hit the like button for us. Leave us with a comment as well. Let us know if there's anything else you'd like to see from us. We always appreciate your insights, guys. Anything else that you want to add? I think that's it. I really enjoyed this. And, you know, if there's any other even like mashups that are really good that you guys know of, I'd love to see some more of, you know, multiple styles in one. I think that's cool. Is this going to go on your workout playlist now? It's been refreshed to you. It's already on my workout playlist. Oh, there you go. <laughs> well, uh, make sure you guys hit the subscription and notification bell as well before you go. And we'll be back tomorrow with some new content. Thanks for watching, guys. See you in the next one.